turn 20, uh, 32, sorry. So I'm getting ready to attack um, El Lobo and I did the fight here at... Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to find it because I've got a lot of fights this turn. Mm, not this one. Okay, this one. So it was a necromantic circle. I brought back um, a fire weapon which went through the throne, through the throne domain, and took the haste berries, and then came back in order to check. And so he has only two reanimators, and uh, I forgot the rest, but I took a screenshot, and he has a builder too. And it maybe has some cadavers that are uh, concealed, but it's not a big army. So uh, if if he does not reinforce, I have good chances to beat him. And um, to the plan, af after I I kill these units, I got some free CP because they are undead. So I used it later in other fights. But the plan now is uh, that I moved as far as I could from the from the throne so that he cannot detect me except if he moves really a lot of X's and I'm going to have um, the griffin ready next turn so then I'm going to fly over uh, this and probably clear this sunken city and clear this site which will give me uh, movement again and then move in this area and arrive at the throne uh, shortly <coughs> I could actually maybe even attack it with my three flying units, but I think it's a bit too much. Um, if he's paying attention, he, he probably knows I have some troops here because he should have seen that I cleared this because it will disappear from his map. But we don't know what he is checking, and anyway, maybe he doesn't know uh, my exact troops. So then the other battles I did was here a trading post. Um, I try to g give as much experience as possible to the two uh, fairies and to my Dreadnought, who reached level 12. Ah oh no, not this one. Then I did the uh, mana node, uh, and then the flora quarry, and so my all my troops are still alive. I gained some nice experience here. I got some free CP also because there are uh, summons. I know my Dreadnought is level uh, 12. Um, so let's have a look at him. And as I said during all the previous turns, I want to take um, uh, Destabilize Mana Core, but actually you get it at level 13. That's one of the very rare ability that you get only at level 13. So for now, I think I'm still going to keep my points, and uh, I want to take level walking to be uh, immune to the uh, mana destabilized mana core. But uh, if I can get it through an item, it, it would be better. So I'm still keeping the points, and uh, next level uh, I, I'll use the points to take destabilized mana core. That also leaves more options open in case uh, there is some. Uh, unexpected things happening because uh, El Lobo cleared this, used the highest berries, move here, and looks like he moved some troops from from here and through the um, the wetland with his builder and is around here. And so next turn is going to clear these two sites and move north. So uh, I've got three armies that are going to combine. One is here and clears the two sites here. Second is is this army which cleared the uh, um, resource resource stash for golden mana, and third army is here. So I'm going to clear um, gather these three armies, and I will have three stacks. Then I, I I will see if I can face him. It depends how many troops he can gather at this site. I clear these two sites also uh, for the experience resource extra, but also to limit the the, tr the fights he can do. So that's less experience for him. And less troops, he can it can he can ghoul. Here we've got some troubles uh, with the bo hunted bon boneyard. I don't know exactly where they come from because I 
cannot see any haunted boneyard in, in the area so uh, I'm not sure maybe from here but anyway I'm going to move away and hope they don't catch me because they could catch these guys so I hope they don't and yeah I'm going to move away and go try to uh, regroup with these troops <laughs> um, so let's have a look at the other fights I did so that was a uh, resource stash then I have this one no no so the last one is this one, uh, yeah. So it was uh, all fire immune units, so it's, it was bad. I could not use SunDisk, but I did use Cause Fear, and I used uh, my CP on the on the Sphinx uh, to cast Steadfast Ward and keep him alive with one HP. Why I blew the uh, elemental up. I also took this city this turn, it was not defended and I don't have any movement points left ah yeah, before showing this <laughs> two auto fights that happened on the turn uh, during the in during outside my turn let's say so there was this fight which j totally wasted my CP because the uh, AI cast um, great healing shower which is totally stupid on a fight with one unit um, and so it was useless indeed and he has a pretty nice champion 2 uh, lost soul so or champion 1 maybe champion 1 yeah so she has shadow step and a lot of HP and that's that's pretty that's pretty nice so she's around here and so I'm not going to move uh, east and uh, <coughs> I think I cannot beat that lost soul with my uh, with my monster hunter. And actually, uh, if you think about it, instead of casting um, great healing shower, it could have cast st st steadfast ward, and maybe I would have won the fight. Uh, so instead, I'm going to use Scott. This what? Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> And it's the first time I use it since it has been created and actually it's only for T1 and this is a T2 so that was stupid <laughs> okay so I wasted my CP and mana well at least I can use it on this guy but I'm not sure it's really useful okay <coughs> um, so maybe it's going to die we will see if it survives so let's let's check the rest of the turn first and then see so he casts uh, Seed of Distrust on the f on the Fey. That's a good move, but I was not really going to do any quests here anyway. So, and I just received the quests this turn from the dragon, which is not a really interesting quest. Only a first weaver, not a reward for killing a, a first giant. It's not really balanced, but. So uh, I got this growing into town. Ah, yeah. And the second fight I wanted to show is this one, uh, where the independence attacked my troops and uh, lost. So I'm not going to show the replay because it's already uh, at nine minutes. But uh, I lost two units and kept the rest. It's not that bad. So then, here I, as I said on the previous turn, I checked with my marauder, and I'm seeing there is a. Um, an outpost, outpost five. Why well, I'm not sure why he called five, but um, a fortress. I mean, so uh, I'm going to move around and try to take it. I don't see any uh, defense, but maybe there is a, a cadaver. But then he would he would die um, because of decay. And I'm going to uh, get up the ship to be uh, two units to defend in case of attacks. This one I'm going to skip. Why? Okay, I have only this one left to move. So um, my other moves, I I'm building my army slowly here. I sent 
um, two monster hunters in this area to kill the lost soul. I knew there was a lost soul in this area because he cast um, Seed of Distrust and you need to have vision range to be able to cast Seed of Distrust so I, I looked for it with my scout and found it pretty quick and so now I'm going to uh, to get actually I'm just going to keep my scout here um, so that he can survive and, and then it will help to find the the lost soul um, otherwise uh, so I started back production I I'm building I think I already said that on the previous turn I'm building a, a shield with plus one resistance plus twenty percent frost protection that I plan to send to my leader and uh, this I'm purging to Tigran in one turn because it's like um, migration here I'm building uh, building this it should be done in three turns after the growth uh, to build some monster hunters here while here I will build um some uh berserkers uh with the uh, dungeon if i can uh which will be which means they will have killing momentum and uh <coughs> i'm just going to uh about uh scott this march it was a waste because i didn't calculate i didn't understand properly the spell i thought uh, I could use it on monster hunters and not other units, but the monster hunter I, I thought I could, but I can't. So I'm going to go for uh, this march to be able to uh, move even faster in here and and get around here uh, next turn if I can. And I should be able to cast it because next turn I will not be exhausted anymore. So ah, and I got a new. Ah, yeah, I got this. No, actually, I already said it last time. I got the um, sleep away um, item on my on my ID. So thanks for watching. See you next time.